Okay, so I'm back with the Sublime series and in this episode we are going to create our custom code snippets. With that, I'm your host Sarthak and welcome back to Bitfumes. This is a channel where I talk about level and level related things. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. The most important thing I want to tell you before starting the video is that um, my friend John has taught me this snippet custom snippet things and I just want to thank you John for teaching me these things because of him I am able to show you what I have learned from him so let's start the video and what is custom code snippets let's see I will type here H E L L O that's not a problem but when I hit tab let's see what happened you can see it says hello world this is a snippet and the important thing is that this word is highlighted so I can change it to let's say the fumes and then I hit tab again and it's uh, highlighting the snippet word and so I will say this is a um, sublime series so I think it's very awesome so how will we use these things let's suppose I want to create a function so what I will do I will say public function then the function name and now these thing let's return true okay so the problem is that I have to write each and everything many times because obviously I have to create many functions and every time I have to write all these things this is not so good thing and now what I have to do let's create a custom snippet for this so what I want to do I want to just say pub and hit tab obviously this is not working right now but I want to hit tab and I will get these things so let's see how we will do that so I will go to tools developer and new snippet and you can see it's a same thing this is a snippet it's just like this because I have edited this function so obviously where you have to go you have to go to tools developer new snippet and you will get this thing so okay like this okay and now you have to see here on line 6 there's a triggering tab okay so I will just uncomment this and instead of hello I want say pub only so obviously I have to save this file so let's save this file inside a snippets folder I have created this folder is not come up with sublime I have created this folder so you can also create this folder so that every snippets of yours is inside here so you have to just give a name so I will give a public or I can say I will give a function dot sublime dash snippet and you can see the important thing is that this file must have an extension of dot sublime snippet okay so let's save this file and it's done now go here type pub hit tab and you can see it's just giving you everything we have here but I don't want these things I want these things okay so what I will do I will just cut it I will just cut it from here and paste it here and obviously I don't want any spaces here but I want a space here for line indentation okay now what I want whenever type pub whenever I type PUB and hit tab I want to just highlight firstly the name then I want to highlight whether I am going to return true or false or anything else so what I will do instead of this name I, what I can do I will just say dollar and I will say here one that means the first uh, word which is highlighted which will be highlighted okay so I will type here name okay that's so easy similarly here I will say again dollar curly braces to colon what I have to do 
let's say return true and I will delete this thing so delete hit save that means control s now go here delete everything type tub hit tab and you can see you have first firstly public function name and these things secondly your name word is highlighted so I can give a name of get user and now when I hit tab it just highlight true or false isn't it very cool okay you can do this thing with many many ways so let's say I want to return um, dollar um, user name every time I want to hit I just want to hit are you are you that means return user and hit tab I want these things to here so let's see uh, obviously we know how to create these things so I will close this go to tools developer new snippet triggering word will be are you okay and here I want to say return dollar username isn't it cool and now I will save this file here so I will say its name will be just um, username I think it's good save this file and now let's try let's see are uh, you and hit tab oops there's a problem why our dollar username is not here I just only get written because the dollar word is reserved for that snippets remember the last time we have created snippets we have created something like that we have created public function and dollar curly braces one colon name if you remember these things so you can easily say that dollar word is reserved here so for getting that dollar word in our snippet in our uh, code what we have to do just type backslash hit save and delete this type are you hit tab and you can see we have return dollar username and if you want to make this username as uh, a word which is highlighted so that you can change the variable name so what you have to do I think you know dollar curly braces one colon username close this save this file go here delete this are you hit tab and it's now selected you can give any name that means like uh, only name uh -huh. isn't it cool so if you have any doubt in this episode or in anywhere of my episode you can watch level 5.4 series authentication series for the level and if you have any problem anywhere just feel free to comment me i will always ready to respond your questions and obviously share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of the best thing okay and we will meet in the next episode till then keep watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye